Okay, this is going to be a first demonstration of an idea that I'll look at in a little more detail deeper in the book in, uh, in video number 23. Uh, we'll explore an idea that was shown to me by uh, James Moody, and this is a simpler version of that. So what we're trying to do is begin to focus on making the connection between our internal singing voice and what we're doing with the saxophone. So this is a way of taking something familiar and seeing if you can find your way to it using your ears. So we're talking about Frere Jaca. Uh, we played it in the, in the first video in the key of F. <laughs> So, the idea here is we're going to choose any note and start Frere Jaca from there. And we're going to see if we can do that in time, do the searching in time. Why do we do that? The reason we're searching in time is that that's the thing that we're trying to get good at as improvisers. Uh, if we're talking about playing over standards, playing uh, the bebop approach to jazz. Um, I'm playing in time with a bunch of other musicians. I want to imagine what's in what I want to imagine a melody to play and then ask my technique to deliver that melody straight out into the world. I can practice that every day. So a demonstration, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put my I'm putting my, my index finger on the piano. And I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can find that note on the saxophone. I don't know which note I played. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was pretty close. I don't have perfect pitch. I have pretty decent relative pitch. Uh, and I was a half step away where I thought that was going to be. I could feel that my finger was on a black key, so I probably should have made an adjustment for that. But I think the point is, is taken that what I'm trying to do is use my ears in this exercise rather than my brain. So uh, just by happenstance, I wound up exactly a half step above where I was uh, playing uh, Frere Jaca in the last video. So I'm going to count myself some time. One, and then I'm going to one, two, three. That's my tempo. And then I'm just going to try directly to play Frere Jaca in that key. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> tempo going. It's a very simple melody. I've been doing this for a long time, so that was pretty easy for me to find. Um, and maybe uh, I'll let myself improvise just a bit in that key. Two, three. <laughs> Okay, so that was uh, that was some real improvisation, in the sense that I expanded the time. I didn't do that on purpose. That's just what I was hearing. So I tried to let myself uh, pursue what I was hearing. That's not necessarily going to work uh, in the way I just played it if I was with some other musicians, because they're going to keep going. They're going to keep walking the regular line of the tune. So I would have to be able to listen to what they were doing and fit what I was hearing into what's happening in the flow of the tune. Well, let's try that one more time. One, two, three. <laughs> And now just uh, for the experiment, let's try a white key. Mm. And this time, mm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start and see if I can start from that note. And if I miss, I'm gonna stay in time and start again in time. Mm. Thank you. 
whole point of the exercise is to stay in time. When I, I said, I didn't play exactly what I had in my mind, but I didn't stop. I said it again to see if I could make it work in time. That's the sort of idea behind there are no mistakes in jazz. There are certainly mistakes you can make. You can play a note that sounds like a clunker, but if you can stay in the time, try to work out the problem you created in time, or think of it like a puzzle to solve in time, you can work it out and make it sound not necessarily like you intended the wrong note, but that you have the presence of mind to find a way to make it work in real time. I've often been told that the, that the times when I played something that didn't work, you know, by a friend who I was playing with on stage, when I played something that didn't work, hearing me try to figure out how to, how to solve that problem was one of the more interesting parts of my solo. So that's if you can embrace the challenge of, I played something I didn't mean, let's work it out. That will make for some improvisation you couldn't have thought of. You can only find your way out of a, of a situation that happens in real time. Okay? Try adopting that attitude and see how it works out.